Happy Friday, Carver family. Y'all, the, the world is uh, the world is going off of its rocker. It, it's, so many things going on. It's, it's um, I don't know, some things are uh, concerning. Did y'all see uh, where uh, New York uh, got, got a rare earthquake? Lord have mercy. Whew. You got, this is spring. I bet you got places getting snow. I, I don't know if it was, was it, I don't know if I'm correct in saying, was it Maine? Maine or, I don't know. But, like, got some major, major snow. Told you. I told you, told you, told you. They should have left that damn groundhog alone. You know what Phil's saying right about now. Oh, Pinky Doo-Doo. Uh, you know, she hasn't posted. Um, I did see where... Um, I didn't watch it, but I, I just... I saw the title. I saw where um, Zachary uh, did another uh, video for Pinky. Pinky, boy, I tell you what. You're not even saying anything as far as that. Girl, you should feel... Um, uh, you should uh, take that as a uh, as a compliment when you got Zachary uh, <laughs> doing some reactions. I did see in the title where it said uh, she lied about going to Walmart. Oh, Zachary, listen, I don't know if you watch my videos or not. It's okay if you don't. But listen, you will soon come to find out that uh, Pinky lies pretty much about a everything, anything and everything. Since it's Friday, we are going to um, fall back to um, Pinky's low-carb cheese dip. Mobile home living, kicking diabetes butt. I saw this video and I was like, yeah, mm-hmm, sure, girl, sure you're kicking diabetes butt. January 23rd, 2023. I still am working on um, another video. I'm hoping to have that up uh, tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, I've been a little busy the last few days and I'll be completely honest with you. Those damn jelly, those jelly bellies, uh, jelly beans, and what I ate on Easter. Mm. I told y'all, you, you, even if you go back on keto the very next day, it's like you, you just feel you feel tired. And then when you start back on keto or low carb, you you, you get that they call it the um, they call it the keto flu, and I think it's kind of like with low carb, it may be called the low carb flu. I don't know, but the keto flu. I just felt crappy. I don't usually feel that bad. I know a few people who actually, you know, when they had theirs, they, yeah, they felt pretty bad. I didn't feel that bad. I just felt like shit, Karma Family. I really, really did. So, you know, but I, I'm, I'm better and I'm back on track. And those damn jelly bellies, um, I still have some left. I think I'm going to take them to work and give those away because I will not be looking at them again. Well, probably till next year. I can pretty much almost guarantee uh, next year. But I hope you all are having a uh, beautiful week wherever you may be in this world. Hopefully uh, uh, hopefully you're not in uh, states where y'all are having uh, some snowstorms. Um, mm, I couldn't believe that. I can't remember if it was Maine. I don't know if it was Wisconsin. All I know was a lot of damn snow. And I mean a lot of snow. Yeah, yeah it's spring all right. But let's check old Pinky out. Make sure he turned up. Guys, it's around lunchtime. Now on Saturday. Well, at 12.56, so it's good enough for lunch, ain't it? Now I'm gonna make a little cheese and salsa dip for uh, um, some tortilla chips. Let me point out again, this was January 2023. This was less than a year. What was it, like nine months? Um, approximate? Nine months. After she says she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, uh, I have shown over and over how she has mocked how it's a big joke, how she has clickbaited and everything else. And clearly by putting kicking diabetes butt in the title of this video and then um, and then starting out making a damn cheese dip uh, with some tortillas. <laughs> okay, clearly y'all can see that girth plopped up on the, uh, the stovetop. And clearly you would think that if someone had cut out sugar, had, you know, had been doing what they were supposed to be doing, that you would be able to see a noticeable weight loss. I see a notice, a very noticeable weight gain. Okay, hmm. why not? Why not? We got nothing else to go with it, so we might as well. We'll just melt down some cheese, throw some salsa in it. Call it a dip. Actually, it is. Got me some eggs. 
I don't know if I'm going to make some deviled eggs with those. Or what I got playing. I was going to make some chicken town. Which I still might. But I'm not sure. I think I'll cut this cheese up a little bit. So I can pay him before I put it in there. Just because I think it's uh, not a whole lot better. It will. Actually, I kind of know it will. Or I might say those make salad. Or I might say I'm just eat them whenever I feel like eating them. The eggs. So we'll do that. Grab out some salsa. But I'll wait till this melts and then grab out salsa. This we want to pay from eggs. Did you guys see that in the other video? Well, she doesn't say what kind of cheese it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not American cheese. It's probably a cheddar. I don't know, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar. I don't know. Pinky, that is not a good cheese to make a cheese dip. I always say if you're going to do a cheese dip, you know, do Velveeta. I mean, Velveeta. Vel <laughs> I'm having a pinky moment. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Did it come out Velveeta? Velveeta cheese. <laughs> Velveeta cheese is the best doing a cheese dip now i don't know but like i said if you're using a cheddar or something like that uh, you may need to add maybe a little half and half maybe a little uh, uh you know you could use a little whipping you know a little whipping uh cream too but knowing pinky just knowing i'm gonna take a guess and say that she's just gonna let it melt and throw some salsa in on it now if anybody knows as far as when it comes to melting cheese y'all can pretty much get the image in your head of what this is gonna look like Okay, now we'll be right back, okay? Hey guys, it's starting to melt. Just gotta keep stirring. I could use a little pan, you gonna make a whole bunch, but hey. It's all the cheese I got. Yeah, it don't make any difference. Yeah, it's all the cheese I got, so it don't make any difference. I guess she's eating it, so. But we know even if Tim or Haley or anybody were there uh, to help eat it, it wouldn't make any difference to her what it looked like. Clearly, using a metal spoon to stir this shit up in a like in a frenzy because you know she gotta hurry up and get it done and just a whipping away just a stirring away as hard as she can with that metal spoon in this kind of a pan so clearly she will be having uh some cheese and um cheese copper dip whether it's whatever it is it's, it's like a copper you know cheap copper lining and that's the best stuff to have and to use a metal spoon you know there's all kinds of little itty bitty copper chips in that dip. I mean, I could throw some shredded cheese in here. I'm wondering if Doc goes. I love the Doc lately. We have been. But, I don't have everything for Doc's. I don't have no lettuce at all. Just a scraping away at that. And, yeah, this has got to be a cheddar. This has got to be a cheddar or something like that because that's just not even melting. And look, what is this? Is this the turbo setting? Right here? You got that shit up on high. And just a scraping away at that pot. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I tell you. Just, she just has no clue. But again, you notice how she said, oh, I've been loving tacos and everything. While again, having kicking diabetes butt in the title. Oh, maybe I should turn it down a bit. That would help. Yeah, that cheese isn't, well, the cheese isn't melting, but we know it's not good quality cheese either. But the cheese isn't even melting. But, you know, her, she gonna, she gonna dig down through that copper lining, boy. You know, you could have you added a little bit of milk. A little bit of milk uh, to it. I mean, I, I, I don't really think... Uh, you know this shit ain't gonna look like cheese dip. We know it's not gonna look like cheese dip. I mean, girl, you'd have been better off to throw some, uh, some chips on a plate. And, uh, you know, throw uh, throw your cheese on top and put that bad boy in the microwave. I mean, eh, eh, mm. This is be for a little quick snack snack. For a little bit of nibble nibble. You know what I mean? It's like a, this is like a Velveeta nah. cheese. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh, it is nowhere near like a Velveeta cheese. Uh, number one, if it was Velveeta, it would have done been melted. Well, it would have already been melted. You gotta put it in the microwave for a couple minutes and it would have been melted if it had been Velveeta but no pinky uh clearly this is some uh, cheap ass uh, cheese that you got from uh the Aldi's it's 
Start to burn. Let's see. Oh, that'll be alright. I'm just going to pour in some salsa, mix in some salsa. I love salsa heated up. Dude, you got an ass for any way. Way to put on salsa, you know? Especially when you heat it up. <clears throat> you know what it looks like? Uh, it looks like it, it looks like somebody hurled in the pan. That's what it looks like. Like Tim, uh, when you would come home and you would uh, you would see that. That's what it looks like. It looks like, uh, it looks like throw up. And her, her big ass wanting to stand there saying, yeah, there you go. Uh, 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 Did I ever tell y'all that if I would have, if, if I would ever, ever, uh, show something like this, put anything like that in front of Mr. Karma, have I told y'all what he would do? I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it at least once or twice. Mr. Karma would have my ass out on the curb. No, hands down. Uh, uh. No, I couldn't even just say, I couldn't even do this as a joke. You know, because I'd, I'd get a stern look like, you, you, you have completely gone off your rocker, woman. You even think that you would even joke about something like that. First of all, he'd be like, you, so you wasted food? That's what he would say. Oh, so you, oh, you did it up as just a little prank. But wasting food, is that funny to you? That's, see, that's how, that's how my husband is, Pinky. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't, uh, shit like that he takes seriously. He doesn't believe in wasting food. He doesn't, he don't believe in nothing like that. But yeah, look at that. Yeah, and her, there, there you go. She don't care. She don't. She, she, you know damn well she's gonna eat it. That's a good old bit. Mm -hmm. Does does anybody out there have um have a mom that um would have clearly taught you from the time that you were young that if you would have ever been cooking something and decided to put the spoon um. The anything in your mouth and then put it back down into the pot uh, hands up karma family does anyone have a mom that would have given you the backhand because i do no doubt about it you'd have got the backhand if you did if you would have done anything like that but i mean clearly that's probably what pinky's family does that's just you know that's just probably normal you know they just all be standing around everything you know instead of waiting for dinner to be put on the table they just walk over to the stove and everything be you know grabbing a spoon or a fork and everything and tasting it right out of the pot you know and then putting their saliva and whatever else is in their mouth you know putting it right back down into the pot i mean hell because clearly you were not taught you have no home training no home training whatsoever you know, that's why you have as far as you have some people when you are taught respect you are taught manners you, you are taught to act right, you know, and listen, sometimes that means that if you did something, whatever, you know, you might get one, you might get one slap across the ass, but like I said, you do something like that, that's nasty, where you put something in your mouth and put it back down in the pan or whatever like that, yeah, I'm not saying teeth would come out, you know, but you get a little, you get a little backhand across the mouth, it, it's just the way it is. Yeah, well, that's a good tortilla, so it takes like Good. Mm-hmm. Right. Nick, we're good to go. I taste test it, you know. Taste test around here. Make sure we're getting any more salsa. I won't let it heat up a little more because it's not very hot. Here it is. Tips over eating on some too. Using the Kroger chip. Let's give it a try. I know I tried it up there, but it's hotter now. I kind of have a feeling she did something else to it, or maybe she used another type of cheese, but I, I kind of don't think that this is, this is, doesn't look like what was in that pan. So she may have, you know, just redone it up. Or like I said, maybe she had a little bit of milk or something to it. I don't know, but this doesn't look like what was in that pan. But yeah, it's nice to know that Tim is partaking in the, um, you know, copper cheese dip, copper flakes, uh, metal flakes, cheese dip. Kicking diabetes butt. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Buffalo dip would have been better. And I had stuff to make it. But I thought about that after I didn't make this. The chicken buffalo dip. So I'll eat on this and see what we got. I'm 
I'm still hungry now, guys. Okay, I had to check to make sure um, Cece was still on because there were, there were there were no words coming up on the screen. Imagine that, Pinky. I, I'm just so curious. I mean, that that can't be comfortable. Like to sit down and just be in a seated position. And I mean, the only thing that's moving is you know your hand to mouth. Um, and be and, and and have that heavy breathing going on. I mean, that can't feel comfortable. Snowing out this morning, and it's still coming down. Hey guys, we, uh, the game is today. I got Dr. Pepper in the water. We're going to watch the game with a friend. And we're also taking some... Watching the game with a friend. Sure you are, Pinky. Uh, you mean your sister? Your sister friend. So dip. Um, with some tortilla chips. We got something to get tortilla chips. Taking an apple. Um, we're taking some of this uh, veggie tray. Yeah, let me point out something here. Look at those carrots. You ever notice when you've had carrots for a while, they get um, they get like a um, a white, uh, you know, like a white uh, film on them. And you're gonna take this vegetable tray and have those carrots looking like that. Number one, I mean, you you could take a a vegetable peeler and you know you you could go across it to get that off. But when I see carrots that look like that, no. Uh, well, vegetables don't sit in my refrigerator that long. But no, see, I, I'd have to pitch them out because it's just. You think Pinky would do that? No. Mm -mm. Clearly didn't even wash them. And gonna take that uh, to share with a friend. That's not a whole. That's not a whole hell of a lot of vegetables on that tray. I mean, what you got there? About four or five carrots. Uh, some. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think she just pulled that out of the refrigerator, sat it on the table, and said, "Yeah, we we did the game, and uh, uh, we're going. Uh, we're gonna go with the friend." Pinky, I bet you couldn't even explain what a touchdown is. You don't have no idea. You don't have any idea whatsoever um, <laughs> about football. That's what we call this, a veggie tree. So I got some dip in here, some olives, carrots, tomatoes, celery, and bell pepper. So that's what we're taking a snack on and picking up a pizza. And picking up a pizza. But you probably won't be eating any pizza. Yeah, you probably didn't eat any of the pizza, Pinky. You probably just snacked on the vegetables and, you know, your apple here and, you know, the... um. The dip and the chips and the, the pizza. Uh, that was for um, Tim and your friend, right? Here's all the stuff we got. Get right ahead and watch the gang. Look at it coming down. Looks like pretty, don't it? Speaking of coming down, the way that porch looks on that damn, uh, on the McMansion, I'm surprised it hasn't uh, fallen down. Look at it on my leg. <laughs> okay, off to watch the game. Go Bengals! Um, that ended up being not go bangles, that ended up being go home bangles. Ain't that right, Pinky? Let's see. Hmm, I guess one of these damn videos where, you know, driving along, driving, driving, driving. Always the same route to her sister's house. Yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Yeah. I don't think she said anything. I doubt it. Let's see what she says here. Back country roads aren't good, you all. <laughs> That's what you get, I guess. There ain't nobody around. The big old pile there, too. And that just fell off the of the, the roof of the car when we stopped. We didn't stop. I was like, man, I wish I was going to film that. That would have been cool to see. It was cool, though, wasn't it? Yeah, these roads are. They're the back roads. The main roads aren't that bad at all. But see, it snowed, and then we had some sleet. And now it's still snowing a little bit, but it's starting to warm up. So it's turning into slush. And they just they've been here. It's great. That's all. It's it doesn't need too bad. Hits the trees. Yeah. It looks like it's so harder. Well, hopefully Tim got those wipers uh, situated. I, I I don't think I've ever heard wipers that um, made a thud, um, sounding noise. But, you know, it doesn't matter if it snowed or it's sleeted or anything. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing keeping Pinky uh, from uh, filling up that girth with some uh, pizza. Hey, Pinky, uh, maybe you ought to come back in because I'm sure you'll be checking this video out. Maybe you ought to come back in and change that title to, um, um, I don't know, like Mobile Barn, Mobile Barn Living. Um, I don't know, No Home Training. Uh, grew up in a barn, you know, something, but really something that needs to have barn 
born in it. Yeah, because you all act and live like farm animals. Uh, as far as kicking diabetes butt, <laughs> sure, Pinky, sure. And like I said, comes on, puts that in the title, and then eats uh, salsa, um, uh, cheese, and chips, and talking about going to get a pizza and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just mocking. It's, it's just a big joke, isn't it? But clearly the joke is on you, you know? About 450 pounds of the joke is on you. Phew. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see if, um, I guess we'll see, if, I don't know. I guess we'll see if Pinky, you know, if she um, uploads anything new. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? But like I said, I will have another video out tomorrow or Sunday for sure. Karma family, I love you all. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.